What's going on guys? Welcome back and today I'm going to be reviewing the Cole Spinjitzu Master set. Um, I just recently got this set like pretty much today actually. And uh, I think it's a pretty good set actually. I was, I was very pleasantly surprised by this Spinjitzu Master set. And I didn't really like any of the other ones. They didn't really look that good in my opinion. Uh, because the leg print didn't really match up with the torso. Uh, but this one I thought, because, you know, I don't have a, I didn't have a movie slash season 8 version of Cole. And, um, I thought this set looked great, and, uh, so let's get into the minifigure. So, this is obviously the Cole Spinjitzu Master, and, um, of course in this set we have Cole. Now, he has two silver shurikens, which I think it's so awesome to finally have the shurikens in a silver color and not in a gold color like they are normally represented and don't get me wrong I did love the gold color but I was kinda of disappointed they never made silver shurikens and I think it's really great that they included them and you do get a spare pack so you get four silver shurikens in total in the set so and they come with every figure in these um, Spindy 2 Master Series so it looks very nice and like I said I did not have a season 8 slash movie version of Cole so this is a very nice figure. I like the printing on the torso that kind of shows he's got his straps and then he's got all the the earth and rocks coming off his torso there to represent, you know, he is in his Spinjitzu Tornado. See a whole bunch of more rock and elemental detailing in the back. He has uh, no sleeves, of course, and then he has this kind of nice gold printing on the legs, which is why this is the only one I liked, because I thought the this is the only one where the leg print kind of matches up with the torso. Um, because all the other ones, all, like, all the other figures in the other sets are, have so much different printing, or, like, different colors on the torso, that I didn't think that the, um, the prints on the legs really matched up with the torso. And then he has this nice, uh, symbol on the helm, or the hood, which is the same, uh, double piece as with the Ninjago movie sets and Season 8 sets. Uh, a nice brown band with his symbol there for the E symbol for Earth. And then he has the movie expression, which I did not actually have yet, so, um, we'll take off his thing, and then you can see he has his happy facial expression and his angry facial expression, and it's very nice to, um, see this figure, but the only problem is, I think what it would have increased the popularity of the set, uh, just the Spinjitzu Master sets in general, and increased the quality is actually including the hair pieces for the minifigures as well. So, I don't know if you agree with me, but I think they could have put the hair piece in the set. Because it only came in the collectible minifigure series for the Ninjago movie, and I think it's time they included it in another set. But other than that, I think this is a very great figure. I think they could have included the hair piece, though. But, yeah, we're gonna get on to the side build next, which is this little stand for his hammer. So it's, it's got this kind of um, orangish detailing to, get, to, I guess, represent his earth power. Um, you do get this kind of new pyramid triangle piece on the top and on the sides, which I've never seen that piece before, um, and I have never owned it before, so let me know in the comments if that's a new piece. I think it might have been in Nexonites, but I'd never gotten any of the Nexonites sets, so let me know. I think it's a new piece. Well, it's a new piece to me, and it's nice to get it in the set in this kind of orange color, so you get a lot of those in the set, which is nice. So it's just got, like, silver uh, on these little two pieces on the side, which is nice to see. And then, of course, he has this hammer, which I thought looked like a cool hammer, but it's actually kind of disappointing. There's the... So I don't know if this is supposed to be Earth. I think it's supposed to be kind of his Earth element, represented by orange. But it could be lava, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be kind of his Earth element represented. And then he does have this hammer, which does look nice, and it's very similar to the Dwalin build, the build for Dwalin's hammer from The Hobbit, and uh, the disappointing part is that it has this weird stud on the bottom, which looks very weird and out of place. I don't see why they needed to include that, so what I recommend if you have this piece is to uh, take off that weird plunger on the bottom and give him this, and then this will be a lot better for your coal figure. If you get the set, and because I think that looked very weird on the bottom, but uh, yeah, that's it for that bit there. So, um, 
Yeah, that's it for his little stand build and his hammer. Um, so then we're going to move on to the handle for the spinner, which has this very useful print with, of course, his Earth symbol on there. So, very useful print. Uh, that's not a sticker, so I'll probably use that for some custom builds. And it's a very good handle. It's very sturdy uh, for you to hold, and those pieces are useful to get. And this new piece for the spinner... And it's got orange and gold on it, so cool build there. And then you can put the spinner in the top. And so now I show you how to use this. So you take out the little pod here, and you there's like this little black thing. So you're gonna take coal, you're gonna put him in this. There's a little like uh, space for his feet. So you stick coal in there, or like for any of these sets, you stick the minifigure in. You get this kind of glass canopy. Put that over top. You put it in there. Kind of stick him into the, the spinner. Lock him into place. Then you put him in here. And so far, there's four different techniques that I know. I just got this set, so I'm not too experienced with it yet. But the the techniques you can use is you can spin it like this. You put the rip cord in, and you spin it, and then um, I, I'll, I'll show you this. Just a second. But so you put the ripcord in, you spin it, and then you and then you let it spin like that. So it spins good like that on the little black uh, sticky outfit at the bottom. So you can spin it like that. The second technique is you can spin it upside down. So it does stay in place and you just turn it upside down, use the ripcord and it spins upside down. So Cole's probably getting a headache and getting really dizzy right now, but uh, there he is upside down. And as you can tell, it is very good and it spins for a while. And then um, you put it back on. It does work the best on hard surfaces. That's why I took the base plate off today, because the base plate, it works fine on base plates, but I wanted to have like a smooth surface. And then the last technique that I know is you can roll it. And that works really well, actually, because I, I did it in my kitchen floor, and I have like a very long kitchen. And it went pretty far in my kitchen, so it like rolled down the hall and like hit a, a cabinet and then turned. So it goes pretty far. And the last one is you can kind of try and balance it in the capsule. Kind of let it spin to the side. I didn't do it hard enough there, but we'll try that again. Try to get it to kind of like spin around in circles on the edge of the capsule. Uh, that's one of the techniques. And then the last bit of the set that I'm going to show you is the extra pieces, which in this set are really useful because, like I said, you get an extra pair of shurikens and you get this um, an extra bottom mask piece, like all the Ninjaga sets. You get one of these extra pyramid uh, new pieces to me, so I'm happy to get an extra one of those. You get a translucent orange stud, you get this orange piece, this black... Uh, slope, you get a translucent orange slope, and this black piece. So, moving on to the ratings for the set, I think this set is actually really fun. It's the only one out of the Spinja 2 Masters that I really wanted, because I thought it was the only one where the leg print really matched up. But, um, I don't know, I haven't gotten the other ones, so they might be good, but I'm, I'm so far, I'm having a lot of fun with this set. And I think it'll be very fun. It has a lot of useful pieces as well, like the pyramid pieces. You get like five, uh, four or five in this set. And it's a it's a, a thirteen dollar set, so that's good. It's nice to get a coal minifigure, the new season eight coal minifigure, and uh, you get a lot of useful pieces, like I said. And the only problems I have is that they use this weird piece for the bottom of the hammer, and also they didn't include his hair piece, which I think a lot of people would have wanted to get this set for the hair piece, which would have increased the quality of the set. But other than that, other than those two small nitpicks, I think that. Nitpinks, nitpicks. I think that a lot of kids will have fun with this set. I'm having a lot of fun with it. And I think it has a lot of useful pieces. Uh, the Cole minifigure is great. And it's, uh, it's a very fun thing. So I'm going to give it an A. I think this set's great. I'm going to give it an A. Not quite an A+. Plus, not an A-, A-, just an A. Because I think it has a lot of good pieces. And it's very fun to play with. So I'm giving this set an A. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Have a great day. Take care.